excuse the way how I look right now, but I'm on my way to bed. And I think we all know what this video is going to be about. You know, Karen e. Rose for all the motherfuckers that don't know how to pronounce my name right. And you're new here. But shout out to y'all for coming to this channel. Now, let me tell y'all. Okay, so I got a phone call. You know, I was working late. So, you know, I get a phone call and I answer it. And my homeboy, he said, did you see? what will did and i'm like what will did he said did you see what will did i'm like who the fuck you talking about will will smith he said yes i was like what the hell did will will smith do i'm thinking i ain't gonna lie i thought will did some weird shit i ain't gonna lie at first but then he says will smack this shit out of chris rock i'm like really he said yes and he sent me the video. And I, I look at the video. You know, Chris Rock, you know, he cracked his joke. Next thing you know, you know, you see Will walking his ass on stage. And he hit that man. Then the nigga smoothly walked back off stage like he ain't did nothing. At first, I thought it was kind of fake. And then when he started screaming, saying, Keep my wife's name out your motherfucking mouth. I was like, okay. Okay, this is kind of real. Because it was just like, the room just got awkward. I felt awkward. I was watching the shit and I got out. I was like, oh, Lord, what's going on up in here? So, I rewatched it again. Because <laughs> cause I was like, wait a minute, this can't be. Let me watch this shit again. Because it's not every day you see two celebrities like that go at it. So I show, you know, I show my co-workers and everything. We watch the shit together. And I said, okay, this shit is crazy. I'm going to say this. First, you know, Chris Rock cracked his joke. But I really do felt that. I'm going to say this. I do feel that Chris Rock shouldn't have picked on his own people like that i'm gonna say that because he shouldn't have picked on a black woman's appearance in front of the oscars something that's not dedicated to us at all you know and i'll say this as, as well i felt that will smith did that to impress jada because Will was laughing when Chris had cracked that joke. Then he seen her face. Then he was like, and she made that look like, hmm. So you laughing? Hmm, bitch nigga. That's when Will got up and just, I feel like at the moment he just lost it because he's been through so much. He's been embarrassed by his wife sleeping with August Alcina. You know, all them jokes motherfuckers was cracking on him on the internet. Boy, boy, boy. Lord have mercy. I didn't see some of them jokes. Them jokes was horrible. But, you know, I felt like out of all, you know, I'm going to say this. <sighs> I, 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 I don't even know what the fuck to say because so many people didn't, I don't even know what to say no goddamn more. But I'm going to say this though. I felt like that was some gangster ass shit for you to smack somebody at the Oscars and then turn around and win an award. <laughs> I would say that, and I'll also say this. Shout out to Denzel Washington, because he's my favorite actor. You know, <laughs> I'm sorry. It was It's the memes that's making me laugh, and it's so wrong, because I hate to see people, you know, be made fun of, to be honest. And I don't like seeing... I don't like seeing another black man being embarrassed on TV. I don't like seeing a, a black woman being embarrassed on TV as well. Um, we do need to learn how to stick to, with each other more often. But um, hopefully, I heard that they, they all made up. And I honestly do feel like they're going to be talking on the Red Table Talk. They're, the Red Table Talk is going to get more views. Will's going to go on there and explain his side. And they're going to invite Chris Rock to bring his ass on there to tell his side of the story. So they're going to get more views, more money at the end of the day. So 
um, what they do that red table talk on FaceTime, no FaceTime, Facebook. So I think everything's gonna work out for the best. They both apologize to each other, so that's good. And um, yeah, this was a brief little video. I really ain't had much to say because so many goddamn people didn't touch on this video already. I just gave my little opinion. Um, everybody really has good opinions about this, about the um, about the situation. You know, certain people had me, you know, I watched certain videos and I talked to certain people and they gave me their certain views about it. And I was like, oh, okay, I respect it. You know, I see, I see like all three sides of the um, situation, basically. But yeah, I do see all sides of the situation. Um, and it's one thing people keep saying that, uh, well, you should act that way in front of all those white people. Let me tell you something. No one, you know, gives a fuck about, no one gives a fuck about what they think. Because I'm going to say this, they think of y'all as fucking animals, um, strippers, hoes, thugs, and prostitutes anyways. That's how they see us. Most of them. You know, so why should we give a fuck about what they think when they going to think what they think about you regardless? You know, but like I said, most brief little video, so multiply, divide, and subscribe. And I'm going to have another video coming soon because I want to talk a little bit about this situation. So I pushed that video back, but that video will be coming out soon. So you guys have a great night and bye.